threw Steph Curry a surprise 30th birthday party. He went to town on a plate of ribs. That look fun in your uh, China Clay made an appearance. <laughs> There were some very interesting dance moves by a lot of oh, folks, man. including Steve Kerr and Mike Brown. And today on his birthday, we look back at Hi, his Steve. accomplishments. <laughs> <laughs> nope. It's far more than just another birthday for Steph Curry. The ultimate warrior is now 30. Symbolic in sport for reaching the point where we start taking stock of the big picture. Steph and Curry from way downtown. The greatest shooter the game has ever known, no doubt about it, Hall of Famer, but beyond that, where exactly does Steph stand as he turns the page from 29 to 30? Curry pull up from 30 oh, feet, you. goes down as he high steps his way to half court. He's already in the rarest of company, one of just seven ever with multiple MVPs and multiple titles by the age of 30, something only the largest legends have accomplished. No matter the order, any debate about the top 10 ballers of all time includes them all. That's the company Steph keeps as he blows out the candles on his 20s. Curry to the basket. A layup by Curry is good! Pesky ankles aside, there's no reason to think he's slowing down anytime soon. Curry on the go route. Back to Durant! What a play! Surrounded by stars and armed with a game built for the pace and space era, one which he ushered in, you could make the case that perhaps no player of his stature has ever been set up as he is for the back half of a career. The greatest ever to wear number 30 is now 30 years old. Where does the time go? Jalen, give us your favorite moment of his first 30 years. My favorite moment for Steph Curry is when you take the basketball out 94 feet, usually it was a throwaway shot that a lot of guys wouldn't shoot because they didn't want to mess up their field goal percentage. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> right, Coach? I mean, one, two, X, zero, and then you shoot it. This guy has Smart. a legitimate chance to make those plays. And all of a sudden, he's in a big game. He gets the ball at OKC. And Steph Curry dribbles across half court. He's knocking it down without hesitation. How about this? I mean. That's a game-winning shot. Come on. And this is a guy that has <laughs> hit multiple half court shots. And I know right now he's out with an ankle injury. But think about it like this. His ankle injuries have been the gift and the curse for the team. Because had he not been injured early in his career, they wouldn't have had the cap flexibility to build the team around him that they did. Now he's going to go back in and get a big bag. Well, one of my greatest moments of watching Steph play is when they played against the Cavaliers in the championship in game six in 2016, and he gets ISOed against LeBron. He goes mm. to the hole, try a little fake. LeBron said, get that oh. out of here. And LeBron barking at him a little bit. And uh, Steph just kind of said, oh, OK. And then Steph said, oh, you know what? Oh, I got him on the island. I'm going to make him do some jump rope. Oh, and take him to the And Steph said right here, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Now, you're in my house. Take this with you. And he did a little yelling back himself. So that showed me the competitive nature that we don't see, that a lot of people don't see in Steph because of the, the you know, the boyish the look, face, you know, that yeah. baby face. He a baby face assassin, yes. first of all. And then he's shooting all these, everything is so pretty looking. But he's got a fire in his belly that wants to win championships. And I thought that moment right there just showed the heart that he really has on the basketball court. How about he and LeBron James were both born in the same Ohio hospital? Really? What? They, they, I, I can't make this up. Something in the water. And since Steph joined the league, teams are now taking 10 more threes per game. Yeah. Like, he helped usher, usher in an error that the three-point thought... shot on a fast break on a three-on-two or two-on-one was a really good shot. Which I thought you, you were going to say people are now going to that hospital to get hurt <laughs> to their baby. They're doing that, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say they might be doing that, too. Yeah. <laughs>